the GitLab repo, you can go to gitlab.com. I like to, you might be able to see the repository here for FactQuest, um, like I do, uh, but you may not. In some cases, it may be sorted down at the bottom. So I just like to type it in. So I'll type in tangible AI first. That'll bring up all of our repos. So you can see FactQuest again there. But I, I go all the way to the, to the actual destination if I happen to know it or if I've been there before so it can auto-complete for me. So I just have to go to FactQuest, fact-quest, and there we are. And so within here, whenever you want to create a file, so um, we don't have any folders here, so there's no depth that you need to uh, browse to to get to where you want. There's only two files, the readme file, which doesn't have much, and then the proposal from back in the, you can see how markdown files render like HTML, so they're pretty cool. So now all we need to do is add a new file. So you can see the plus sign next to the file path. Over here, this is called the branch. This is like the version of the code that we're working with or the version of the files. And um, you can create your own name, a, own, a branch for your own name here if you ever want to. But you should be able to hit the plus sign since you're a developer on this repository. So you hit the plus sign. And you can add a new file. Um, you can upload a file if you want to from your machine. Um, or you can, like this says, you can add a new branch. Like you could add one that's called Polina. That way, uh, if, if, if you want to work on something in private without us seeing it, that's fine. Um, but I think what you're going to want to do is do the upload file. I'm going to do something slightly different um, that's a little more complicated. I'm going to do a new file. So that I need to give that file a name. So I think you're giving, you had some uh, Polina research, or research notes, we'll call it. Because I noticed you had some links and links. And we add the .md so that it will render correctly, so it'll display correctly. Um, you need to hit enter and then, or just click out of it. Oops, if I, when I hit enter, it looks like it just created the file, an empty file. Uh, so what I should have done is just clicked into this box. I hit the blue edit button just then in order to get back into that file. Uh, so whenever you're looking at a file, like the readme file or any other markdown file or any file actually, you can hit the edit, the blue edit button to go in and edit. So now I can just paste the code that you sent me. Well, I think I just downloaded it. Uh, the dialogs, here we go. Excellent. So it's it's in a PDF right now, but I'm just going to paste it into a markdown file. And I think that'll be oh, that's not, not the right one though. I want the um, I want the uh, the other one. The 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 one that you had with the uh, the markdown file. So I'll find your markdown file. I think I've already downloaded it and put it into an internal repository. Let's find that. And within proposals, there it is. You don't have to worry about this. This is our internal private stuff. But I'm just going to copy all your text. Wow, I got a lot of uh, uh, logical fallacies we can work with. Pasted them all in here. And I'll give it a title. You can have a, a single hash. You can give it a title. So this would be research notes by Polina. And um, you can put a date on it. I like to have a lot of a lot of times. I like to put a date in case I'm ever looking for a file that I wrote a long time ago. Uh, in fact, I like to do it in this format: year first, then month. That way, it sorts correctly. In fact, I'll change the file name to be that way. So this should do it. Um, I'll put this down below. Makes it easy to search for files if you always use the same date format. Okay, uh, I guess that's it. There should be a save. So there's two scroll bars, one inside the edit window. You can see that that does that. And then on the outside is the one that you want to scroll down to get to this commit changes. You don't have to actually add a message here. You can just say commit and then it should go for it. But I'm just going to say uh, pasted Polina notes. That's what I did. Uh, this just lets you know, and anybody else who's looking at the repository, what I just did uh, most recently to the, um, to the repository. 
So I'm going to hit commit changes. Um, that's just putting them into version control. So now if you go in here and edit it, you can change any of these lines you want to, change any of the text, add new text, whatever. And that will be version tracked if we ever need to get back to this old version because you accidentally deleted something. Um, and that's why I think it'd be really good to do this for the names. That way we can see all the ones that we discarded in case somebody thinks they're a good one. So that they're at least in our history. And so we can know things that we've tried in the past. So I'm going to go back to the fact quest directory I, up here at the top. If you click on this, it brings you to that top level directory for the repository. And now you can, um, uh, you can create another new file. I'm going to call this one uh, the uh, uh, dialogue um, examples, maybe. Uh, and I'll, I'll go ahead and get that title. Uh, maybe you've got that title in your PDF, so I'll just copy and paste your PDF. Let's find that PDF again. Fat Quest Dialogues. Uh, looks like it's open already. I'm going to control A. Ooh. Oh, that's empty at the bottom. Okay, great. Control A to grab it all. I'm going to hit control copy to grab it, to copy it, and then just paste it. Since I already started with the, the hashtag, it's got the dialogue examples as the title. Um, Looks like we spell dialogue the same way. Nice. Um, not so. You got this triple asterisks. I'm not sure how that how that uh, does things, but you can see my square brackets. Those options uh, tend to they think of them as links. That's fine. Um, we could uh, we could actually make those links in the future to move towards different uh, markdown files that have the the response that's appropriate for each of those buttons. But anyway. Uh, this looks great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and commit that. So I have to scroll the outer bar. There we go. Um, added Polina dialogue about Star Wars and Cat Lady, I think. Commit changes, and there you go. Oh, this is another interesting thing about um, Markdown. If you don't put two spaces at the end of a line, it actually brings everything together. Or if you don't put blank lines between things, it brings everything together into a single um, into a single uh, paragraph. So let's go ahead and edit that again. And um, so I can either do it like this and put a blank line between them, and that'll make sure that they're all. Oops, don't, don't want that one to be separate. Or I can put two spaces at the end of each line. And my text editor, I can do that really f quickly. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take it all again. I'm going to put it in my Sublime text editor. That's a free text editor if you ever want to use it. Oh, I've already got it there. So I can just do it here. I'll go ahead and, oh, no, this is not This is the notes. So Control A. Uh, let's actually not edit that file. Let's create a new file. Control Shift V, there we go. And that's it's got the title. One, uh, there's a couple things you could do. Um, actually, I just realized there's another quick way to do it with, without having to add all those new lines, I mean, all those blank lines or um, spaces at the end. If you make it code, if you put these little triple back ticks in front of it, I think that's what you intended. Um, Perfect. You are three questions away from but Yeah, so that's the end of that dialogue. So we'll create another dialogue. If we use these symbols and then we save it as a markdown file, it'll, it'll treat that as a separate code block, it's called, a block of actual code. Since this is kind of code, this should work out pretty interestingly. But it'll basically remove all formatting, and so it won't gather them all up into uh, single paragraphs. So let's save it as... Um, I want to put it in the same, yeah, so we'll call it dialogue examples. We'll call it the same thing that's on, that we have it on GitLab. So we'll have it in two different places. We'll have the, the original one in this internal repository, and then we'll have it in the public one as well, so that you and others can edit it. Okay, dialogue examples markdown. Because I added that MD, now it recognizes it as it markdown, and so it's, it's highlighting all of this in gray to show that it's code block. And uh, it's not rendering as, as pages, but you get the picture. So now I can close it out. I can copy, actually I can copy all that 
rather than this, I saved myself a lot of well, a search for place in order to do all that other stuff. What left? Uh, so I need to put this. In, I need to put this back into that markdown file here. So if I paste it now, uh, so now it's got the code block marks, and you can see how it turned it to green text. That's just indicating that it's a different kind of text. It's code rather than. That's a pretty long one. Oops! Looks like I missed one. You've got a, done a lot of work. There we go. So the the red. You know these are markers, so they're highlighted in red and. Um, Anyway, it's all good. Now I can save it, go out to the outside, save that, commit those changes, reformat, markdown, and now I'll commit that, and we're good to go. Um, cool, you can see that it has a block around it. So each of the dialogues has its own block. You could give them a heading. Let's just give them a heading so, so they each have a name. Let's call this, this is a different, a weird kind of heading that you probably, you can use, the deeper you go with these hashes, the, the smaller the heading is. And I like to create an actual file name kind of here. Um, uh, this will look funny, but actually this is not, this is, let's stick to something basic. So I'll just do a second level heading like this. And we'll call this um, Thomas, Jeffer Thomas Jefferson. And um, let's do this other one as this one looks like political systems. Oops, don't want to, that's saving the page. That's not what I want to do. So can't use my normal hotkeys. So I'm not in a text editor still. Uh, gravity and Star Wars. Star Wars. Ships fall. Gravity, we'll say. Space physics might be another name, or Star Wars physics. Let's call it physics, just so they don't get. Um, To uh, poem with alliteration. Ah, oh, this is my favorite. Poem with alliteration. Okay, we're all good. I think I've given them all titles. I don't see Cat Lady. That's interesting. So I'll have to find that one. That must have been something you sent me. This must be something you sent me before. But now you can see these headings show up above each one of the dialogues. Looks a little better. I may have missed one here. This looks like a really long one. Uh, oh no, it's it's the it's the hard one, alliteration. So that one's okay. Uh, okay, good. Uh, that, that's all. I hope that helps you play with Markdown on GitLab. Have fun.